we got Reckless and Relentless here at the top. We just did Stand Up Scream there, and then From Death to Destiny will be right here. All the albums are up on here. Just makes it easier. They don't have an individual list on the tier maker site for each individual record. So this is what we got. So we'll deal with it. And uh, thank you for the follow, Slade XD. That was awesome of you to do so. I gave you a follow back, by the way, if you're listening. And without further ado, we're going to get on with the record. Um, well, I guess I'll give you a little bit of insight on it before I start the actual song ranking. So, Reckless and Relentless, this was their second album that they released off the record label, Samirian Records, and I believe it was released in 2011, I want to say, yeah, 2011, because I remember listening to this in 2011, and I actually didn't know it came out, there was a couple of friends that were listening to, like, Closure a lot, and then they told me that they had a new record out, it was called Reckless and Relentless, so... They showed me the rest of the record after that. And I remember this was in 2011 with former bandmates when I was trying to start up my first band. They were they, they were just raving about this record. And eventually it became one of my favorite all-time albums. Just top to bottom, pretty damn good album. Uh, the tier rankings are pretty straightforward. Nothing really unusual from what you see on my YouTube channel or what you saw in the last Twitch stream. Uh, all I got awful. I think you know what that means. Meh, okay. Bronze is basically good. Silver is great, gold is goat level status, superior, if you will. So, without further ado, we're going to move on to the actual individual song rankings as well. And we begin with Welcome, kind of like Alarion, more of an intro to the record, not really a song per se. I personally think this is a really, really good intro. They came out with this intro, I think, the first or second time I saw them, and... It was really cool. I, I personally prefer this intro more than Alarion. Um, this whole entire record is in drop C. I think it is silver. Um, as far as a song, it's not anything great. It's basically a lot like Alarion. It starts off with this kind of like capturing, you know, build up kind of intro with some. Or I feel like there's more orchestration on this one, if I'm not mistaken. I, it's less trancey. But basically, once the vocals come in. Breakdown, breakdown, breakdown. We're back again. Something, you know, so raise your glasses high. I don't remember all the lyrics. Yeah, I remember the first time, I actually, it was the first time I went to go see them. They used this intro, and I was like, okay, this is cool. Danny came out, sunglasses on. This is when he was still partying a lot. He had a cigarette in his mouth on, on the stage, fucking threw it down on the stage, and then we're back again. It, it was fucking cool. A lesson never learned. Uh, this song, okay. Where are we going to put this one? Where would you guys put these songs, by the way? Feel free to give me a whole freaking tier ranking list of yourself if you feel like typing it out in the chat section. Feel free to uh, give me your opinions on this record, too. Uh, this song, I think, it goes into silver as well. They weren't really learning from their mistakes. They were making mistakes. The drug use, you know, the alcohol abuse was getting crazy. Um, the, the show in Seattle, where Danny notoriously got really, I mean, extremely plastered to the point where he could just could not comprehend life in no conscientiousness basically and um they had him just removed from the stage and they sent him to rehab i guess they finished the tour but they sent him to rehab afterwards and I, I, he probably relapsed again i i assume and then we have to the stage which is a really really dope song i put this in gold honestly i like the simple riff at the beginning that da -na 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 -na. i feel like i could just grab my guitar and play it for you guys it's literally sitting right here like, I'm in drop C, too. I just don't know if it's in tune, so bear with me. This is something a little different, too, because I don't, I don't usually just grab my guitar and start playing things. But, um... I might know how to play some more stuff. We'll have to watch more of the stream or the video, depending on how you're watching this, to see. Yeah, just a really cool fucking song um, all the way through. About partying, <laughs> pretty much, again. Reckless and relentless, what do you expect? And then we have our next track on the record. I think this is actually mostly in order. I, I scribbled it up a little bit, though. Um, dedication is kind of like hiatus, but much better. I'll put it in bronze. You know, it's nothing that I'm going to go out of my way to listen to. They got a former vocalist to do this. It's just basically spoken speech. You know, uh, I forget how it goes exactly, but I can kind of remember it. I couldn't recite the lyrics to you. 
but it's kind of a cool break in the record, like hiatus, but more inspirational, I guess you could say. Closure! Okay, I brought this song up earlier. Uh, so this was the first song I heard off of this particular record, and instantly became a fan of it. Uh, like I said, I have bandmates that were, like, just jamming to the song. They were just, like, actually, um, the vocalist I had at the time, he actually tried out with this song uh, in 2011, before our Ocean started it and all that stuff when I was really, really, really just trying to get to the stage. He tried out with this song, and that song actually was the reason I actually accepted him into the band, and then the drummer I got. Um, we also jammed to this song, because I learned the song on guitar at the time. I didn't play it very well. I still don't play it very well. Um, <laughs> I think it goes, like, at the beginning, like... I, I don't remember how to play it. I really, I really like the kind of like 80s vocals right at the beginning we're back again we're no you know we're not fucking around got a battle attack in my right can you keep up kid see it's, it's really fucking cool kind of skid row rock and roll vocals and then goes into these yeah, 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 these suicide silence vocals and of course it's really cool that this song is definitely gold in my opinion oh breathless another really good song this song i'm just gonna reveal that one right away that's 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 a gold tier song i mean this song again just just really gets me man i mean there's a demo of it on i think the uh ep with the, yeah, the other youth gone wild 18 in life ep um what yeah whatever that was called i think i they had a demo of that on there that's how i heard it and i was like oh this is gonna be a really good song and then I heard the album version, and I was just like, holy shit. I really like the chorus. I've got the lyrics. And then the match. This is probably my least favorite song on the record. Um, it's, it's not awful, so we're just going to put it in meh. I just, eh, it just doesn't move me. And then Dear Sanity. This is a really, really cool song. I like the, like, kind of punky kind of post-hardcore um, intro just goes right into it. Uh, I, I think this is the second song on the record, yeah, so it comes right after the intro of Welcome, and it just goes right into that. <gasps> I don't know how to play it, but it's like, some, like it's something like that. Yeah, yeah it, it just, it, it sounds chaotic, and I, I like when bands do that. They just go right into it. Um, maybe I should write a song like that. Um, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Let me know in the comment section or chat section, depending on how you're watching this. What do you think of that? Um, suggest things. It's okay to do so. And, yeah, I just really like how wild it gets. And then the chorus is really, really fucking good. It's, it's just this wild rock and roll punk kind of vibe throughout the song. And then the second, the second verse is more broken down, a lot more melodic, not a chaotic, no breakdown going on, you know, or anything. It's just kind of somber and and serene and it's really it, 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 it's it's dope just go listen to the track that song is gonna go into silver for me another bottle down another bottle down i won't fall down again ah, we'll put that in bronze reckless and relentless and this one i would probably this is bronze or silver for me it's not quite gold for sure we're gonna go into silver and I just really like how this song just basically just talks about him like opening up his soul and just just basically saying how much of a fucking piece of shit he was at the time, you know. Um, really shows like the fragile ego that he really had, almost narcissism that he had, which you know can be kind of uh, on this track too, Morte Adabo. Um, yeah, it's a very honest song and it, it just really, really, really hit me at the the heart right here and we have someone somewhere which is a more sentimental song a more just like kind of melodic song a rock melodic song there's no scream vocals in this really unless you consider those higher vocals at the end screams which i don't um yeah this song definitely goes in the gold tier for me i love how sentimental it is how sweet it is for lack of a better term how compassionate it is and just telling people back home i miss you i hope you are doing well i hope you're thinking of me as well and when i get home hey we're gonna you know embrace each other basically is what i get from that song really good riffs throughout this song i don't exactly 100 percent remember how to play it so bear with me that's 
That's not exactly how you play it, but that's a very generalized version of it. Yeah, just a, just a cool, cool song. Um, Even though I'm on my own, I know I'm not alone. Cause I know there's someone somewhere, and that I'll make it home. Yeah, it goes something like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's, 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 that is the actual chords, but I'm not going to sing all out. And then last but not least, the last song on Reckless and Relentless, Morte Adabo. And this is a really anti-Christian, anti-religious, really, kind of song. Uh, definitely, because they um, basically say, like, come and get me, God. I'm the devil. I'm going to fuck your ass up if, if you see me. I never believed in you is the chorus. Without this, I seen as justified. Something like that along the nature of the lyrics. Very, very, very anti-religious. I'm not against religion necessarily. I don't care what you pray to. You could pray to a freaking unicorn and I wouldn't care. It's not something I'm going to follow. And the same thing with Christianity. So I wasn't offended by this. At the end of the day, I do agree that God doesn't exist. So this song definitely resonated with me. And I will put that in gold tier to end the reckless and relentless portion of this stream. If you guys would like to see me play more guitar at some point um, on here or on YouTube, let me know as well in the chat section or depending on how you're watching this in the comic section. All right, guys. So I, I hope you enjoyed this portion of it. And we're going to move on to from death to destiny.